Hello children. Good morning all. Children, today we are going to study about apiculture. That is rearing of honey bees for honey. Okay. Apiculture pati padi ke poro. Adh kaparma types of honey bees pati padi ke poro. Types of honey bees. Tari ma ongle kene na types of honey bees rikar. Queen honey bee, worker honey bee and drone honey bee irikar. So adh pati or chinnna intro matam pati da. Then we'll move on to today's class. Nama textbook open pani. Textbook le inda padi kaara bikla. Okay ma. Elar ready aar kinga. Happy aar kinga first. Last class elar me textbook padi ching la. Textbook illa naalum paravai la children. Please go through the PDF what I am sharing. Okay, thirpiyo, 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 padichi paarunga. Okay, va. Children, today we are going to study about apiculture. Apiculture. Rearing of honeybee from honey is known as apiculture. Okay, rearing of honeybee for the purpose of honey. Honey kaga, namba honeybees varakro iliya. So that process is called as apiculture. So today we are going to see about types of honeybee. Types of honey bee that is queen bee, drone bee and worker bee. We are going to study about queen bee, drone bee and worker bee and also today let us study the useful products we get from honey bee. Sorry, honey. Useful products we get from honey. Are you all ready children? Take out your textbook. Okay. Let's read what is apiculture, types of honey bee and useful products about from honey. Okay children. Children, take page number 77. Today we are going to study about apiculture. Rearing of honey bee for honey is known as apiculture. That is honey kaga number honey bee valakroilia, tain kaga number valakroilia. That process is known as apiculture. It is also called beekeeping. That is the beekeeping in your peru irka. In this technique, honey bees are reared in a specially designed wooden box. Edila valakro number the honey bees are. Specially designed. This is the special design for the wooden box. Honey bees have been very closely associated with humans since ancient times. Number human beings in the honey bees are very They are very closely associated with humans since ancient times. Various products like honey and wax are obtained from honey bees. So, number honey bee lane, number honey, 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 Nowadays, they are domesticated by farmers to produce honey. Now, honey is the honey. Beekeeping is a profitable rural based industry. So, beekeeping, that is apiculture. Now, it is a commercial basis. That is a profitable rural based industry. Okay, honey, bees are. Social insects, that is the social insect, that is the way to work. 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 Okay, children. The nest of honeybee is known as beehive. And the nest pair in a salvo, the thane kudun number salvo, and the nest pair in a salvo, beehive. They live in colonies and show division of labor. That's why one of them is one of them. Division of labor is one of them. One type of honeybees is one of them. 
So rearing of honey bee for honey is known as apiculture. It is also called as beekeeping. In this technique, honey bees are reared in a specially designed wooden box. Honey bees have been very closely associated with humans since ancient times. Various products like honey and wax are obtained from honey bees. Earlier, honey is extracted from the hives in the forests. Nowadays, they are domesticated by farmers. That is why farmers are farmers. That is why honey is produced. Bees. Beekeeping is a profitable rural based industry. Honey bees are social insects. The nest of honey bee is known as beehive. They live in colonies and show division of labor. Okay. Next one, the types of honey bee. Three types of honey bee are found in a colony. They are queen bee, the drones and the worker bees. So, three types of honey bee vandu or colony la pakla. Advandu queen bee, drones and worker bees. So, queen bee, drone bee, worker bee. The queen is the largest member of the bee colony. The queen is the largest member of the bee colony. There is only one queen and it is the fertile female of the colony. So, it is the queen bee is the largest member. Uh, one queen is the colony. They are formed from fertile eggs. And the queen bee is, the, it is responsible for laying eggs in the colony. So, in the queen bee, it is responsible for laying eggs. So, it lays about 2000 eggs. So, the lifespan of queen bee is 3 to 4 years. In the queen bee order life is 3 to 4 years. Okay, Vamma. Next, we are going to see about drone bee so drones are the fertile males they are the male bees they develop from unfertilized eggs they are larger than the workers and smaller than the queens so drone being the worker bee larger in the queen bee smaller the main function is to fertilize the eggs produced by the queen so uh, queen lay pandranglia eggs are the fertilized pandranda in the male bee or vela. They also help in maintenance of hive temperature. So, in the drone bee, it helps in the maintenance of hive temperature and the same coot or temperature with the maintain in the drone bee. The number of drones in a colony amounts to hundreds and sometimes to thousands. So, in the drone bee vandu or colony la vandu, it ranges from hundreds and sometimes to thousands. Okay. The normal lifespan of a drone is 57 days. So, the normal lifespan, drone bee yoda lifespan evluna 57 days. See, the lifespan of queen bee it is 3 to 4 years and the lifespan of this drone bee is 57 days. Next is worker bees. These are sterile female bees and the smallest members of the colony. So, it is the uh, smallest member of the colony. These bees are very active, but very, very active members in the colony. Their function is to collect honey, look after the egg ones, clean the comb, Defend the hive and maintain the temperature of the beehive. See here, smallest member of the colony worker bee. But see, 
these bees are very active, smallest member of the colony, but they are very active. See their function. Their function is to collect honey. First, honey collect pannu. Next, young ones vandhu take care paniko. Comb and the uh, box box are called the honey bee and the hive comb rikilia. Adhu vandhu clean pannu. Defend the hive. Uh, the foreigners were mother. Adhu vandhu defend pannu. Adhu vandhu veli lindhi era vandhu the attack pannu ramari vandhanga na. Adhu vandhu defend pannu. And maintain the temperature of the beehive. That the beehive or temperature you maintain. See how many works does. Lifespan of worker bee is six weeks. So lifespan of worker bee is six weeks. Around 42 days. So one queen bee has to fly 90,000 miles three times around the globe to make one pound of honey. Honeybee can fly up to 6 miles and as fast as 15 miles per hour. Useful products from honeybees. Honey and bee wax are obtained from honeybees. Other products which are obtained from bees are bee venom propolis and royal jelly. So honey and bee wax are obtained from honey bees. So honey is the thin, bee wax the, it is a natural wax obtained from the honey bees. Okay children. So other products which are obtained from bees are bee venom. Bee venom na adhoda visham. Apro propolis. Propolis is a gum like product. And royal jelly, a secretion from, from honeybee. Okay, children. So, royal jelly, when the Naraya diseases can use Panwanga lung disease, at Kapra asthma, the Lami use Panwanga. So, it is a secretion of honeybee, royal jelly. Brother. Next one, the honey. Honey is a sweet, viscous, edible, natural food product. Honey is a sweet, Viscous na rubba thikka arko, edible na saapada kuriya, natural food product. It contains proteins, free amino acids, vitamins and minerals like calcium, iron, phosphorus and manganese. Ila enne enne irukka honey la enne enne nutritive product irukka abhi inpaathu na. It contains proteins, free amino acids, vitamins and minerals like calcium, iron, Phosphorus and manganese. Okay. The following are the uses of honey bees. Honey has an antiseptic and antibacterial property. It is an antibiotic. See, it is an honey has an antiseptic property that is, it kills germs and also it acts as an antibacterial agent the bacteria kedirka bacteria ku edra act panna koodiya and the it, it acts against bacteria so it is an antibiotic also it helps in building up hemoglobin content in the blood it helps in building up hemoglobin content in the blood number one the hemoglobin content rbc la hemoglobin content irukano illaya and the hemoglobin content vandu increase pan, increase oh pandrathukku idu help pannum it is used in ayurvedic and unani systems of medicine so this honey is used in ayurvedic and Yunani system of medicines. It prevents cough, cold, fever and relieves sore throat. It enhances digestion and appetite. So digestion on the secret. 
it provides essential amino acids required for the growth of the body number one the uh, growth essential amino acids teva illya adu vandu honey la nariyave irukku b wax b wax is secreted by the wax glands of worker bee to construct the combs of bee hive inga paakringa illya bee hive adha teen kootla inda combs paakringa illya idhu da vandu combs nu solvanga okay va b wax is secreted by the wax glands of worker bee to construct the combs of bee hive some of the uses of b wax are given below it is widely used in cosmetic industry it is widely used in cosmetic industry that is beauty uh, products ku vandu nareve useful la irukku the wax is used in the preparation of shoe polish and manufacture of cold creams lipsticks candles and lubricants so wax vandu edhe edhukala vera edhe edhukala use aagudha preparation ku shoe polish cold creams appo lipsticks candles appo lubricants lubricants na oil maathiri irukum it is also used in the preparation of ointments and in pharmaceutical industry so adu vandu medicinal kagavo use aagudhu it is used in the preparation of ointments and in pharmaceutical industry adavadhu medicine manufacturing industry ko adu vandu use aagudhu okay children so children with this i am winding up the class see you all in the next class children please go through what is apiculture okay what are the types of bees the three types of bees queen bee drone bee and worker bee and then useful products from honey bees that is honey and bee wax okay children see you all in the next class children thank you all children i hope you all enjoyed and understood what i taught today see you all in the next class children thank you